Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, there's much being said about a fair share that people need to pay their fair share when it comes to taxes. Uh, what is a fair share? Can you put a number on it? I think it's, um, uh, I think rather than putting a number on it, let's look at empirical data. And well, my question to, is, let's well, put a number on it. Okay, so let's, uh, I think the number that the president has in the budget, uh, and again, the, the president prefers to do tax reform, right. but tax reform takes time. So having the Bush tax cuts expire, well, it, having well, the top uh, wait, rate wait a go. Minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The president prefers to do something is why doesn't the president lead? I mean, you got people on this committee of lead. They've got their brains beat out, but I admire them all at the Gang of Six. Right. So I just don't buy the idea that the president can't lead. Why didn't the president have a budget that led on tax reform? Well, the president has very specific proposals in this budget to answer your question, which would take the top rate from 35 percent back to 39.6 percent. Okay, is which that was, it, which it, was a right. level that uh, existed in the 1990s? Is that a fair share? Had, is is that should it be higher than 39.6? I think that the uh, the 1.5 trillion, which is raised here primarily through individual taxes, somewhat through corporate taxes, is uh, represents a fair share. The ratio I've talked about, $2.50. So the, so the president spending. believes, and you believe, that the, f the number that we should be shooting for is 39.6, not 35. That's right. I think the president believes that. Now, what does that do it, to our long-term fiscal outlo outlook? If we told everybody in America we've now found the fair number, 39.6, can I go home and tell people we've solved our budget problems? Let me, um, let me explain the, the tax reform piece. This budget has very specific proposals, 35 going to 39.6, capping uh, deductions for uh, America, Americans with more than $250,000 of income at 28%. At the same time, the President has put forward principles for tax reform, which would simplify the tax code, lower rates. So when, so when we say a fair share, we really need to reform the tax code to have a fiscal impact. That's right. We need okay. to have, we, when we so do tax I, so, reform. So when people tell me you got to pay your fair share, really what, what you need to be saying is no, you need to reform the tax code in a way that gets us to where we need to go as a nation. And 39.6 versus 35 is not going to solve the nation's problems. I think that, I think that 39 that point. The specific proposal has us returned to where we were, which okay. was a successful system. Okay. As let's let's talk there. about what got us into $15 trillion worth of debt now and in the future. Uh, do you agree that Social Security Trust Fund is going to be exhausted in 2036? According to the actuaries, it's solvent through 2036. Now, I'm not beating up on you because we've all failed in the area of entitlement reform. I'm just trying to, to express what I think is the elephant in the room and the gang of six and others. Bull Simpson actually did try to do something about this. Is there anything in the president's budget that adjusts the age for retirement? No. Is there anything in the budget that, that adjusts, it means test Social Security benefits? No. The president does not believe um, is the that our immediate problem is Social well, Security. But, our, at the same time, the president has put forward would he, would he, principles for Social Security reform, and it too needs to be done right. in a balanced way. Okay, if we do nothing with Medicare, Social Security, and Medicaid, how much of the revenue stream in the future does, the, 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 does those three programs consume? Well, across this budget window, which is the next 10 years, what the President's budget achieves is a deficit below 3 percent and a stabilization of the GDP. Did the, debt the President's is, budget do anything to save Social Security from going bankrupt? Social Security is solvent through 2036. Okay. And I believe the president um, has he put against, forward is, principles is, is on he Social against, Security. Is he against president. personal accounts? Does he, does he oppose personal investment accounts? The president looks forward to sitting down with Congress and making fundamental Social Security reform. Though in his I want budget, to emphasize does a millionaire, problem. Does a millionaire in, under this budget receive subsidies from the government when it comes to their Medicare premiums? The, the president has, um, uh, through the ACA, well, that's true. a simple question. If you're a millionaire receiving Medicare benefits, you got a million dollars of income, do you receive subsidies from the federal government under this budget? You're entitled to Medicare. Well, I mean, do you get a subsidy from the general treasury to pay the premium? 
UK, a uh, large portion of. Is there any subsidies coming to millionaires under this budget for Medicare premiums from the General Treasury? The Medicare compact with seniors is maintained. So the compact is that we're going to let millionaires go sub be subsidized forever? Is that the compact we all signed? That's the compact that we have. Well, millionaires count me pay out. a higher the share AARP of premiums. Is watching. Yes, they I did not sign that compact. I don't believe that. I think millionaires, I think I should be paying the full premiums. But anyway, thanks for coming.